Hi, today we're going to talk about tasks in, in Mailshake campaigns. Uh, tasks are a really powerful feature, especially for social selling, um, but you can use it for a lot of different things. So let's just jump right in. We've got a brand new campaign here, and I want to choose a specific CSV file that I've got ready for this um, to show you some of the, the new stuff that's really cool. Um, for task campaigns, we've got, um, it's really important if you have a phone number or a Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram um, information on your recipients that you include it. So in this example, for instance, we're gonna have a few tasks that have phone calls and we're gonna have a social media task. And this data is, is crucial to having that work really great. You can still work without it, but um, it makes it work even better. Uh, this will just, just be a test. We're not really concerned about the emails in this, in this particular case. Um, You'll notice the, so we've got the initial email with follow-ups, drips, on clicks, just as usual, but now you can add a task. So by default, we have a phone call task um, that just says call this person. You can add additional information here to describe how you want that task to be. And you can switch between social media task or just a, some general task or a phone call. And what's gonna happen is this first email is gonna go out and then this task is gonna be created for all your recipients. And the follow-ups that you add after it um, are not going to send until that above task is completed. So it's a great way to pace out your campaigns to do um, based on your individual actions. Um, you can add a task after a follow-up, just the same. You can even add a delay, like wait two days, and then maybe you want to connect on social media. And uh, you can do that for drips as well. And then you can click this rearrange button. This is another way to um, move tasks in your sequence. So if you want, maybe the sequence should start with a phone call. Um, then maybe it hits the social media task before sending any emails at all. You can decide exactly how you want this to work. So I'll go ahead and move that phone call and social media up just to make this demo a little bit nicer. So there they are at the top. Um, A-B testing works alongside this. So you can have different segments of your campaign not use any tasks or use different tasks. Um, so you might find ways, I'm gonna go ahead and take this delay off for this. Um, you might find really interesting ways to use that feature. So just as before, um, we've got our campaign sequences here. It's saying it's waiting on tasks. And if we look at our sequence tab, you can see the tasks in the sequence here. On our recipients, we've got one person in here and um, we'll go ahead and open up that, that person's view. So our task is sitting here for this person and the pending sequence shows the other things that are waiting. So the social media connection and then the emails that follow out. And we can, uh, as we, so we can make a phone call by clicking this and whatever is your browser's default is gonna pop up for me, it happens to be FaceTime. Um, and that will start the, start the call. And you might be talking with them here and saving notes as you go. And those notes will save just as you type, you don't have to do anything about it. And then once you've completed that phone call, you hit mark completed. And now that task is completed, the sequence moves on to the next thing. So in this case, we've got another task, a social media task, um, but there could have been an email or um, another task. So this is really great for pacing out your campaigns and getting your sequence exactly the way you want it, giving a lot of control for you. Um, the other part I wanted to show you is that was just for one recipient. If you have lots of recipients, you're not gonna wanna go find the recipient and then open up their view and then do that. You're really gonna wanna do them all together potentially. So over here in the, in the left, there's a open task section and it's gonna show all of your tasks here. So the first task is always expanded for you so that you can work right away, click the phone call button, get on the phone, make some notes, and then market is completed. Then the next task loads up for you. Click the button, make the phone call, market completed. This just keeps going and the um, you'll always see the one you're working on, the previous one, and then they'll be collapsed. So that way you can really efficiently go through this. Um, to give you an example of the social media task, you can, um, it'll, it'll link out to the, to the links that you have provided in your CSV file. So that way you can go straight to their page and interact with them. And if you don't have information, it'll just kind of generically open the platform. At any point you can click on the recipient to view their history. So if you really need to know something about that 
recipient before um, reaching out, just click on their link. Your, their whole history is going to be right here. You can mark the task completed or you can hit the back button in your browser and go straight back to where you were. And you can filter these by what kind of task you're doing, who it's, who the campaign is assigned to, or even what campaign it's a part of. So everything will be filtered for you here. Um, and that's really it for a whirlwind tour of tasks in Mailshake. Thank you.